Susan, this really did turn into quite the demonstration here outside City Hall. We saw hundreds of protesters, many of them carrying signs, uh, waving American flags, but we also saw counter protesters out here earlier, and then things turned pretty ugly. There was a big fight that we're told less to, led to some violence. Take a look at what happened. Uh, we're also told that LAPD say that the fight broke out right on the front lawn and that a man was stabbed as a result of this. Uh, no arrests have been made so far, but we are trying to figure out the circumstances leading up to that violence. But again, this really does speak to how poor Polarizing the issue of mandatory vaccines can be and how emotional this has really been for people on both sides of this. Uh, the people out here protesting were uh, really upset about mandatory COVID vaccinations and vaccine passports as more organizations, companies, and businesses across California start to make, the, make that requirement. Excuse me. We also saw healthcare workers who were protesting the same thing earlier this week. Uh, this protest today has been going on for hours. Um, we did see that most, both sides seem pretty peaceful for the most part until that man got stabbed just a couple hours ago. At this point, though, we are seeing a lot of people leave. Police are leaving as well. It looks like this protest, the main part of it, is over for the most part, but a lot of people we spoke today, today say they're still really upset about what happened here. Again, big scenes of violence out here earlier today. Again, this really is an emotional topic for so many. Uh, we are seeing this protest again start to break up. A lot of people are lingering around this area now, and a lot of them also told us they will continue holding demonstrations like this until they feel like their voices are heard. For now, reporting live in downtown L.A., Jessica O. Oh, Fox 11 News.